were just talking about it there before the news. Uh, in this day and age, when body image is more important than ever, cosmetic procedures are becoming more and more popular. But for, the ma for many, the thought of going under the knife to lose the flab is just too much. So here to tell us about some alternatives to surgery is cosmetic consultant Dr. Patrick J. Tracy. Patrick, good morning to you. Thank you for coming on the show. Now, this has caused much excitement and interest this morning because liposuction, for many, a lot of people would want to get it done, but they'd be afraid of going under the knife. So these are cosmetic procedures that will give you the same results or even better results than liposuction. Probably it's unfair to say they give you better results. Everybody has a certain amount of fat and at different levels of both the amount of fat, some of the sort of these procedures can be done. Um, there's certainly... There is one of them, an alternative to liposuction, but if we just take... Um, we we'll start with the uh, ultra shape. Let's through, okay. yeah. So ultra which, shape. which is handy because I, I have this here. This uh, technology started as life, believe it or not, in the Second World War. Whenever they started having sort of jet fighters that traveled faster than the speed of sound, um, they noticed that the windows in them broke. It moved in Munich into renal stones. This is the sort of same technology that was used to blast away kidney stones. And now the Israelis have used it to blast away fat. So um, it uses ultrasound waves to break up the fat? Absolutely. So there's no surgery involved, there's no downtime involved. A patient can come in for half an hour, sit and watch a video. And um, normally it requires three treatments, costs 1,700 euros for three treatments. And on each treatment, a patient will lose an average of 2.5 centimeters. Okay. This and has been one of the biggest or would you wouldn't feel anything? Absolutely. No sort of pain at all. You may feel a slight heat. Um, patients um, described as a very comfortable feeling okay. and certainly um, this is the easiest way to lose fat. Any side effects? Anything. No side effects that we have noticed at all. Um, the, the fat is broken down into triglycerides and free fatty acids and they safe for the first three or four days so that you don't reabsorb those to sort of um, stop taking fat in your diet. Um, we can put in some fat blockers like Xenical and that means that sort of the fat is broken down, at least metabolized mm. and taken away. So okay. who is this suitable for? Who at home is thinking? Probably patients like Alan earlier that sort of, you know, you don't see too much fat on them, but still at the same time they see it themselves. So, so fat they can pockets. grab it. Probably, yes. Okay. You know, people that certainly are maybe carrying a half a stone or three quarters of a stone over, I mean, this is perfect for them. Okay. So okay. carrying... 1,700 for three treatments, and that normally should shift pretty, pretty much whatever you want to shift. Absolutely. You lose and the dress size. For, is that for good, then? You don't have to go back? Um, if you look I after yourself. I think, to be honest, none of these are for good, you know, oh. including liposuction. There's a, a mythology out there that wants you to take away the fat cells, and it's often sold like this, that they never come back again. I thought that was the case, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, what happens is the fat cells that remain can get bigger, so a lot of people who get liposuction, if they don't watch themselves, within three or four years, they may need a second treatment. Okay. It comes back, and it comes back in a kind of a bulgy fashion as well, doesn't it? The interesting thing, Mark, the way it comes back is this. It comes back four times, sorry, yes, four times faster than normal fat, but if you exercise, it goes away twice as fast as normal fat. So it's actually quite easy to keep mm. control. To keep control. If you want to. Yeah, okay. you see, the thing is that it's not just having the procedures done, Patrick. You need to change the lifestyle as well to make yeah. sure that it stays off. And people kind of think this is a miracle cure, and I can go back to eating all the crap that I was eating before. You can't do that. Absolutely.